this is Kristen. Is this Francia? Yes. Hey, yes. how are you doing? Good, how are you? Hello? Yes, I'm good. Fine. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. So I want to ask you a bit about the secret life of an American teenager. But first, I want to start out um, and ask you about one of your first bigger roles. Uh, you, your first, one of your first big roles was in Bring It On, All or Nothing, and uh, you started alongside uh, Hayden Penetere. How did you know that this role was like kind of like the right role for you at that time? Um, because it fit a little bit of my personality when I was growing up, and um, I was a cheerleader, so that was a big plus. And um, oh, cool. Yeah, so once I, I was a huge Bring It On fan, so once I heard they were doing a third one, I was like, oh, I have to be in this. And I read the part, and they um, remind the part actually reminded me a lot of my family members, like my cousins and stuff. And I love to imitate people, so as soon as I read it, I was like, oh no, I have to do this. There's no other person that can do it like me. So I knew it was fun. <laughs> nice. And by then, you hadn't graduated high school, right? No, I hadn't. Actually, the funny thing is, um, I was a senior in high school, and I was a month into my senior year when I heard about the, um, the role, and. Um, they, it, it, it's just horrible, like, dealing with um, trying to go to school and working at the same time. And they were like, oh, man, I really, really don't want to deal with that. And I was like, <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. I got my GED. I don't have to go to school anymore. So <laughs> it benefited me. So I just, a month into my senior year, I just got my GED, and I never went back, really. Oh, man. Yeah, you must have been super busy, obviously, doing all that. I was. But, uh, I was really busy. I mean, I missed senior year and prom and all that stuff, but I'm like, I don't uh -huh. miss the schoolwork or pot finals or anything. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And obviously, you know, your career has uh, very much benefited from you getting to focus on that instead. Yeah, exactly. But, um, <laughs> but you also, um, your more recent film is in The Cutting Edge 3, and you played the star of that movie, and actually, I read that you did actually, like, you had ice skated before that, is that right? Yes, I did, when I was um, 11 years old, so um, that <laughs> helped me a lot. Cool, it was, was there any, like, kind of particular, like, moves that you had to do on the ice that were, like, like really hard at all? Um, I think the hardest part about ice skating in the movie was the fact that I had a partner with me. I had to be in sync with someone else, and I had to get used to someone else holding me the whole time. And mm. with blades, it's a little dangerous and scary because you never know who might be off, like who messes up. And sometimes we'd be doing front crossovers, and my blade would um, click with his, and I'm like, oh, God, stop. So that was probably <laughs> like the most challenging part of it. And, yeah, other than that, like, the fact that I used to ice skate before really helped me because, like, as soon as like, my feet hit the ice again, like, they st and, um, started learning the motions again, like, they remembered, and so they just did it, and I picked it up pretty quick. Oh, that's great. Uh, what did you, like, best about filming that movie? The chemistry with the cast, I mean, the energy was just unbelievable. We all got along so well, which made the whole process even easier. The director was great. Like, just the chem like the energy and the chemistry between everyone was just phenomenal. So I think that was the best part of the movie. Awesome, awesome. And, I mean, the movie received some really amazing ratings. Do you think that they'll make another one? I, You know what? Because it did so well, they probably will. I don't know. Who knows? I haven't heard anything, but <laughs> probably. <laughs> Would you be up for uh, starring in another? And another cutting it. I don't know. I mean, it depends what the role is. Um, it really depends. Like, that's a good question. I have no idea. I'd have to read the script <laughs> and know the role. And I mean, I I love MGM, so I I do anything for them. If they offered or asked me to, I'd definitely do it. I love MGM and ABC Family. They've been so good to me. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So switching gears a little bit. Um, you're in right now. You're going to be in the Secret Life of an American Teenager, which premieres on July 1st, I believe. Yeah. Um, could you just tell us a little bit about that show? Oh well, the, that show basically deals with um, the relationship between teenagers, like how they act at school, what really goes on between them, and their conversations, and uh, dealing with teen pregnancy. So and. Uh, That's right. Go ahead. Oh, no, you you can continue. Sorry. Oh no, it's fine. I wasn't really going to say anything. 
<laughs> I was going to say there aren't like too many shows on TV that deal with like hard hitting subject matter like teen pregnancy and stuff like that. Do you think like the like, kind of like and it also like takes place in like you know a midwestern town. So do you think like a lot of these themes will like kind of ring true with like younger viewers? Yeah, and that's why I think the show will do so well. Um, I have a lot of faith in it, and because a lot of young viewers can relate to it, and I think a lot of parents themselves can relate to it. So, I mean, a, a kid, like, we all have such different personalities in the show. We all have our own story in the show, and there's a reason why, you know, we act that way. Like, we're teenagers. We don't know why, but I'm sure, like, once parents see that, they'll be like, oh, so that's what's going on, you know? <laughs> As in what, when um, they're going through it and 